I look like a boy. <laughs> To get some dong in your life. Hello. Walking around Terminal 3 at Changi right now at like 4 a.m. Nothing's really open. The duty free store is open. So the butterfly garden is in terminal 3 at Changi. I'm deathly afraid of butterflies and bugs. Not sure if anything is open. Soup on the side, and I think there's sauce underneath. Yeah, got mild. I'm just gonna try a little bit. Mmm, this is pretty good. finally have a few moments to myself in Hotel Nico Saigon right now. The wedding was yesterday. That's what I originally came here to Vietnam for. And it was a very long day yesterday that started. I had to be there at 5 a.m. for hair and makeup as a bridesmaid at my friend's house. We did the whole tea ceremony thing, traditional. We're wearing traditional outside. It was a really beautiful, beautiful wedding. And now we all get to relax. We went out after the wedding reception yesterday to to a club called Kamas in Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City. It was fun. I had a really good time. I mean, I don't really club and stuff often at all anymore. I had a great time. We stayed there till I think 3 a.m. Then I was actually kind of just hungover today all day. So I'm doing my skin here now. I'm trying to hurry up because I have to meet my friends downstairs in about 15 minutes to go eat. We just finished a spa package thing that we did inside Hotel Nico and it was nice. I kind of just passed out during almost all of it, like the facial, the Massage. I feel a lot better. I'm alive now after being dead all night. We're going to eat at the gangs. I'm excited to go eat. We are checking out tomorrow. Then we are heading to Phuc Quoc Island. It's a one hour flight from Ho Chi Minh City. So
went to visit Truk, who is known as the Saigon Snail Lady, who became world known due to Netflix's Street Food Asia in the Ho Chi Minh City episode. She has a dream to give her son a better life. Her husband takes her to the wholesale markets at 1 a.m. to pick up the snails and seafood. She puts her heart and soul into every dish. Now people from all over the world come to eat at her food stall. Every dish was delicious. It is a bit difficult to find her food stall, which is in an alley. I will include the full address here and in the caption. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I look like a boy. Okay, it looks like Ness. You look like a hot. Oh, what? The lowest ROI snail. The lowest? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Call me low, low ROI. That's a high ROI one. Yeah, that's a high ROI one. <laughs> Which one? The big boy. <laughs> the tiny boy. <laughs> to the airport to go to Fukuok Island. Oh my god. How do you say it? Fukuok. Fukuok? Yeah. It's not Fukuok? No. <laughs> My new favorite way to pack with a shoe organizer and just roll it all up and it goes right in there. Hot. It's hella hot. So we just had breakfast at the bistro at this resort and it's so pretty here. We're waiting for other people to get ready and I think we're going to do water activities. They have kayaks, stand-up paddle boards, jet skis, and I want to do parasailing so that's what I'm going to do later. It is so hot but it's so beautiful. I don't know what he dug out of the ocean, but huh? this little fossil guy. What's up? It's your boy Mowgli. <laughs> I finally changed into a bikini. I still haven't gone in the water yet. Uh, it's so bright. I think it's too bright. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty here. It's 
So this is a fishing island. Isn't every island a fishing island? <laughs> okay, what kind of fish do they have here? You told me the long guy, the barracuda. Rockfish. Huh? huh? The big huh? goldfish. Yes, the big goldfish. <laughs> the red one, oh. the snapper. Just gonna be doing a lot of this. Barracuda, phobia, grouper, giant kabob. Ooh, here. Lemon sweet lips. <laughs> lemon, lemon sweet lips. Queenfish. Queenfish. Fish, diamond trevally. King mackerel. That sounds like a ravioli. Yellow spotted trevally. Spadefish. Silver snapper. White trevally. Stingrays and maybe a swordfish. Maybe a swordfish. Egg and. Is that beef? Egg yolk coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Egg, beef, and something else. Why does it look? It's like condensed milk on the bottom, yeah. coffee, and salted egg. So this, is, this is pork with egg. Then what is this? That's beef. Oh. There's beef, onion, and beef avocado. I don't know what's what anymore. I don't see any avocado in here, but. Oh, this is a beef avocado. Let me try the passion. This shit was only 20 some bucks for all this. Mm. Right. I, that for I like the pork one. Anywhere. That's Back like two home, sandwiches. You get half of that stuff. You get two sandwiches and that's it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, this was from a crab? Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna try the pork pork pie. I don't, I feel like that other one might have been pork pie, but. Say pork pie? Pork pork, pork, pie. pork pie. You gotta pork, say pork, it twice. Pie. Pork pork, pork, pork pie. pie. Yeah, for whatever reason. So, <laughs> we're trying to apply uh, family style to sandwiches. Sure, why not? It's a, it's a bond me flight. Have you guys ever done a 23 and me? Mm -mm. No. I didn't Josie do it? Mm -mm. No. no, she did. I kind of want to do it. I'm kind of curious now. Go for it. Uh, I, I, wanna, I don't think power. they have enough Asian data. so I, just... think it's, I think it's better now. Um, and they always update it too. As I'm trying to get my cool. siblings to do it, so I don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You should do it after your siblings do it, because then it only adds to the pool, right? Because if, if you do it and they don't, you may not get very much of anything. That's true. And if they do it and you don't, then you're like, going, okay, I know your shit, but like, what about me? Yeah, and it still might vary a little bit, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just checked into Majestic Hotel in Ho Chi Minh. We are back in Ho Chi Minh City now from Phu Wok Island. It was so beautiful there. It is kind of like the Hawaii of Vietnam. Beautiful beaches, friendly people, very islandy. We all had a great time with the wedding party, the people that were able to make it. It was bride and groom and 20 people from the US and Canada. We all had a great time. It was so nice to meet some of you. I just settled into the other hotel back in Saigon. We're about to go walk around and grab some dinner in a little bit. This room is, I don't know, kind of regal. I haven't worn any makeup since the wedding, other than the wedding makeup artist doing my makeup in the morning and for the evening. Since then, it's been a few days and I just haven't worn any makeup because it's so hot and humid. I, I don't know, I just put something together right now. I have no idea if this is going to just melt off my face the moment we step out. I'm gonna go meet up my friends now. We're gonna go walk a little bit, shop, see what they have out here on, I'm now in district one. I'm not even sure what district I was in prior to Fu Huak because it has just been go 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 since we got here with wedding stuff now we will be exploring district one 
Michelin selected 2023 pho. tricked by the super cute Halloween decorations thinking I would be eating down there but it's actually they brought us upstairs for fine dining and the decoration part is the bar and dessert bar downstairs their own thing right now and I am in a grab going to the cat cafe <laughs> class through the alley.
I am dying from heat. I can't really handle the heat out here. I'm so nice tea. This is all getting cut. 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 I'll put a happy face over you. Oh. Sad face. Clown face. Actually, that would be kind of fitting. <laughs> Oh, the pretty one. <laughs> Are you gonna make it to a hard shape? Rest a bit before going to the spa again. We're checking out of the Majestic Hotel today. It's supposed to be Saigon's top rated five star hotel. The rooms are very old, but I guess architecturally it's been here since 1925, which is a really long time ago. <laughs> Let me show you this old picture of it in 1940. That glare is not helping. through some shopping area. Assembling the candy, and I got some for my family. Okay, they want me to go to the tip of the boat. More, more. Okay, I'm going more. Okay, we're at the tip. Thank you. We just had lunch. I am sweaty AF. I'm surprised my makeup is even staying on. Thank you to the L primer. What is that one called? The L, that gel one. 
the grippy one that looks like the milk makeup one <laughs> thanks to the elf primer and charlotte tilbury setting spray if you're wondering what makeup i'm wearing i will list all of that below surprisingly it's staying on we're about to head back to mito or my toe from Phoenix Island. Then we are heading back to Ho Chi Minh City, straight to the airport at Ho Chi Minh. Then we are off to Hanoi. I gave up on my hair. I just let humidity take over for that. Let's see. Makeup. Still somewhat surviving. Okay. Since it's so hot, I'm on the hammock with my buddy here. He's chilling. So we finally got to the hotel in Hanoi after a bunch of delays and just being sticky from the Mekong Delta. It's really nice here though. It's 1.30 a.m. and we have to be ready to head out to Halong Bay at 8.15. So, I'm gonna get to the room. So it's a lot more chill out here. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's a lot quieter than in Saigon. Just going to wait until we get on a freeway to take a nap. Uh, woke up and found breakfast. Some more snacks. Don't know what this is. Can't read anything. But it looks like bearded candy ish with a hard candy shell. I don't know. Let me try it. I just wanted to show my cute little elephant tote that I got as a souvenir, and I just needed something to carry my laptop. and we're just outside the hotel. The circus is right across the street. I might check it out later, but about to go do my nails. I'm gonna do something more fall looking before I go back home. This hotel is so pretty. I'm in a spot for this, so it has to be good. So cute on the street near the pizza place. I thought this was a pizza place. I guess they have all sorts of stuff. Oh, here's the pizzas. Scallop something pizza and soy garlic beef. Dish. 
pizza, my favorite. found an aerial studio so I'm on my way to ROU Rao Aru Studios in Hanoi and I'm so excited. I'm gonna do some Lyra today. Walking over to the studio, I hope I'm in the right alley. They sent me like a picture of instructions in case I didn't find it on Facebook Messenger which was uh, really nice of them. Found my people. It's really loud, sorry, but all done with Lyra. It was a great time. I met a lot of girls. I didn't really get their contact because I couldn't really talk to them. Nobody spoke English, but they were very welcoming and they were even feeding me a lot of snacks and fruits. It was such a beautiful studio. On my way back to my hotel now. We are entering Old Quarter, Old Hanoi, Tahian Beer Street. Street. Kind of like Bouvian in Saigon, but a little less crazy. I am still running to the bathroom, TMI. Every, I don't know, pretty often. <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying this on the internet. I ordered pho ga, the chicken pho. I don't really know, it said mixed chicken. And then the picture is on Grab. It all looked the same with different names. And it says it's the Michelin Guide 2023. So it says the Michelin Guide Hanoi's Bib Gourmand 2023. Whatever that means. Sounds like it should be good. Hope I can feel better. Also got myself, you know, two bottles of water. This was um, 112 Vietnamese bong. Mm. This looks really good. I don't want to tip it over, but it looks really good. I'm excited. There's the soup. Oh, there is hot sauce. I'm a little scared given my condition, so I might not use any of that. All right, going to take my charcoal pill. Hoping this works this time. I did take it this morning. I don't know. Again, this is the last day I'm here. I've been here for a little over a week and I haven't gotten sick from any food, but I'm gonna take this before I eat all of this and I will see y'all later. The freaking spa our friend recommended does not take cards, so if you you need to double check that when you're out here. But our other friend, the bride, said to always look for a gold store to change money. To get some dong in To life. get some dong in your life. Made it to the train street. So cool. Oh, okay, this lady just says go with her because I just got yelled at for going into the train street by myself. So you need a guide or like somebody that works at one of these drinks and coffee shops to bring you in. You can't just walk in here. I guess because they had an accident. Like I have to stand on the side or I will get yelled at. <laughs> off the vlog right here this was our last meal before heading to the airport to go home editing this vlog was wow it was it took me so long if you made it this far please hit the like button and subscribe i'm so happy you're here and always spread love and kindness like confetti Lots.